Look at this that came on our property this morning. What do you think came in this great big truck? Well, join me and I'll tell you a story and I hope the wood chips don't turn into a nightmare. Let's go find out. Good morning, all. Well, guess what? They came the other day and brought a bunch of loads. And like I've told you, my husband, you know, has been getting all he can. See the loads over there? Well, I had a talk with the, the owner of the company. It's a big company. I said to him, we really can't take anymore. And we, we ha my husband has to move it, is what it is. And he's moving a lot of it by hand. So we were talking and I said, you know what? If you can move it for him, at least a lot of it, I think I goofed. I told him we can take all he has. And he got so excited, told me he was out of places to dump his big loads. They have a massive amount of work to do. And guess what they brought this morning at seven o'clock in the morning? Do you see what that is? It's exactly what you think it is. They showed up here with a bobcat so they're going to move a whole bunch of his piles of wood chips. And he said a lot of it he's just going to level out. And now he won't have to move it. And I am so afraid of what they're bringing. I have no idea what they're going to bring after this. Because I guess I made a deal. I don't know. I mean we may have to stop him if it's too much. But we'll have to see. But that's it. So my husband's down there. You can probably barely see him moving around stuff. He's all excited. But we'll see what they end up bringing because we got like three loads last week or four loads. I'm not even sure how many. And now they're going to move it for him and start bringing loads. It might work out really good. I'll keep adding to this and see how it goes. And like I said, it's changed our life. If you go back and see my video from before where it says the wood chip nightmare that's when I told him the first time we'll take all you've got or my husband told him that and they were bringing and bringing and bringing and he was moving it all by hand so this is why this is this could end up being another nightmare I don't know but look at him down there there's my husband he's watching with such great anticipation thinking of how much more wood chips he's gonna get and this time he won't have to move it or they're gonna move it closer to where he wants it to because you can't drive the whole property you can only drive half the property maybe a little bit more than half so he's gonna get some moved here and I think he said he's moving some to the other side of the property uh, he wants to spread it all around the avocado trees underneath and he's got he's been doing that by hand and that's a haul now look at that now this is a big bobcat they brought my neighbors got a bobcat or they sold it they used to have it and it was not as nice as that one they brought this on a big professional truck look at he's moving his metal stuff he picks up but this is like very exciting to him and you know what's really scary I actually called this guy yesterday evening and he said well we're gonna bring that bobcat down within the next seven to ten days it was less than 12 hours <laughs> I, I mean he must have a whole lot like I said here to go to the dump and dump these loads it, it's gonna be over a hundred dollars if he doesn't have a place to put it I'm not sure which dump they go to, but I looked it up, and that's the cost in the city of Los Angeles. So, uh, and that may, probably is where they're going. But look at that. And could you imagine how long it would take my husband to move that with his little wheelbarrow? Look at that. Is that cool? He's down there, and he's watching him dump his pile. Isn't that cool? Alright, well we'll see how fast it takes for those piles to go. I think he's putting it around his banana trees right now, which are down there. Oh, that Oreo must not be happy. And then uh, he's got, I don't know if you can see, I see the rabbits running now. Let me try to move. I'm on a hillside. 
See, he's got more piles over there. They look through the trees, and let's see if we can walk down. I don't know how much you can see. He's been putting it, as you can see, he put another load down behind on the back side of my garden. This is these year old fig trees that are what two of them, one for sure is going. He's got more wood chips down there, and we can keep going. He's going to have some piles moved up on top here. Let's see if we can keep going. Let me see if I can get up the hill. I'm on a hillside. See, he's going to have them move that one. I guess they might have started. Maybe he moved that. And once they move these piles out, when there's a bunch, he got this one yesterday. This came yesterday. And then all those piles, see how big they are? I know in the camera maybe it doesn't look that big, but it's a massive amount of shredded tree. Looks like this one's got palm tree in it. It's a shredded palm. That's one load. And they come with their big trucks. That's one load. And then here, one, two, three, four, five. These are five or six here. So at the moment, see, they, know, they can drive down that road. He blocked them in. They blocked themselves in by dumping it. So now, as soon as they move all this, they know they can bring another six loads up here. Ooh. <laughs> another six loads up here once this is all moved, and that's what they're going to do today. And then I don't know how many loads they can bring down below, because down below... He's got at least 10 loads down there. And it's amazing because this whole area, this was a parking lot. Oh, well, that's what we called it. We'll probably plant in here one day. But, you know, when we have parties or family comes over, we park here. And uh, it's flattened down. And if you, I don't know if I can do this. I don't think I can. not But it's changed the soil down there. See, it's hard to see. It's already changed this land. I mean, things like vegetable plants can be grown in, in this. So, we'll have to see what we're going to do. But yes, the bobcat is here. For all you people that were saying, oh my gosh, get the guy a bobcat. Well, the bobcat is here. You can hear it. You can hear it working. He, like I said, he's so excited. See, I took some here. I'm going to have to show you what I do with wood chips. I've come up with ideas. Ideas that for the small farmer that wants to just grow on a patio or in a small yard, I'll, I'm going to do a video on that. So if you can get some wood chips from somebody, uh, treat, you can stop if they're trimming trees and they'll let you take it if you have a way to take it. But uh, walking through this, Ooh, something dug a hole there. Oh, you know what? I think I saw what dug a hole there yesterday. One of those fruit beetles actually dug a hole. There it is. So that's the story for this morning. I'll come back and show what, they, what they've done. He's got piles all along there. You can see three right now, and then he's got it against the wall, and they're moving it against the wall. Look at that. I think the scary nightmare part is going to be how much more are they bringing because I made a deal I don't want to say a deal with the devil because it's not it's is a good thing but it's like I made a deal with him yesterday you move it and we'll take or my husband or we'll take all you've got oh I hope I don't regret those words well we'll see that are already to the back of the pile that was three major dump loads you know I'm looking at it now and I think I was wrong I think there were six or eight there because I'm not down there and I see these are more layers or side by side so it could have been about eight loads there's my husband working away I don't know somewhere there he is He's pushing it under his trees. 
he's wearing a mask. That's very good because a lot of times he forgets. So, very good. Wear a mask when you work with a lot of it. If you're working with a little, it probably doesn't matter. When you're moving it around, it's kicking up all that dust. Wear your protection, wear something. Look at that. They've already got most of those piles moved. I think I said earlier there were three there and I might have been wrong. There might have been six. They might have been dumping next to each other. We have no idea how many loads we've gotten. They've already got all the way to the end there. I think he does this all by hand and now they've come with their bobcat and their professional driver. Well, we'll see how much they move. I guess it depends on how much they've got to bring back. Boy, some of those piles have been there so long. You're gonna have beautiful compost underneath just to pull from. And then you can actually use that to grow in, just mix in maybe some house kitchen scraps or, or uh, well, you may not need anything much. We'll have to check it out and see later what's down there. Okay, this is where the bobcat was working. There was massive piles here. They could not drive. Apparently, my husband said there were three loads in this area. And now they've moved it. I don't know if you can see. All along the wall, they leveled out a little bit. So now he, they can dump at least three more, more loads here. Um, he still has some places he wants to move it that he wanted to move it his way. And because he's got ways he wants to put it in. So now they're back up on top of the hill. Look at this. I can't resist birds. I see a bird and I just have to zoom in. That's the coolest thing. Look at that. Okay. Away from the birds. So now they're back up on top and they're gonna move the six loads. And they're gonna give me that one I wanted. There's one that's very fine. It's got more leaves than anything else. They're gonna put it for me by my garden so I can pull from that. Cause that will break down so quick, I'll be able to plant in it by spring. And right now I can just use it on the top. So now I'm in the bottom of where my husband's garden is and you can see they've moved it all. There was, he told me, three loads in this one area. So now they've kind of pushed it around, they've leveled it, he's moving it around his trees. And I don't know if we can swing around here without making anybody dizzy. See what they've done? They've piled it up against the wall there. And there he can move whatever he wants. Um, and it will be there and it will break down. So as it breaks down, if it breaks down a lot, then he can use it in his, in his uh, beds, his vegetable beds. But they've moved that, and you saw that just now. I showed you, my, that's where my husband was shoveling and working with the bobcat. So this is all gone now. Leveled, I guess they pushed a lot down as well. So now it's gonna be, I don't know, six, eight, 12 inches thick? I don't know, but like I said, it will, it will continue to break down. 
and just crumble away and turn into wonderful topsoil. That's what it's known as, it's topsoil. So this is all done. Now we gotta go back up to the top. Let's see if I can open the gate and walk out. I can't, they piled everything. Oh, I can't, I just stepped on one of his plants. No, I stepped on the hose. Okay, so this has been leveled out. So you couldn't walk down here before, these were all piles. And now this is leveled out. I think they're taking a break because it's quiet. I hear work done in the back, but see, this is cool. Now they can drive back down the road and swing around here. They can start dumping again. So they could at least get another three loads in, probably four. They couldn't get down here before because they've blocked themselves in with the six, seven loads on the top. And they can actually put some loads there. So they've moved, they've moved it and they've leveled it for him. And then these, I think he wants them to leave these because he's moving this where he wants it. Now, I did talk to him on this because I did another video on this and he has not removed anything from that. So those loads that were up against the block wall, which is about eight foot there, they have fallen on their own just by breaking down. So they're slowly turning into compost slash topsoil on their own. And so that's what's going on with that. All right, well, they're on the top with the bobcat. So maybe I better get up there and see what's going on. I wanted to show you this pile came about a week ago of wood chips. And I've hit it a couple times with water while I'm watering my plants that need to be redone. Yeah, there's a zucchini on the ground. Against the wall, those are little planter beds, but I haven't been taking good care of them. They need to be weeded. But anyways, this is the wood chips that came. And I don't know if we can see this, but see this? See the fungus in there? We, right now what you see is mold. It's already starting to break down. And in one week, I'm going to say that this pile just from sheer gravity as well, has dropped a good foot. Um, but the thing is, what I've been doing is digging as close to the center as possible. I'll show you over here. And I've been taking this, because this is really fine. This is mainly leaves, but maybe twigs and stuff. I've been taking buckets of that, and I've been using that for a a mulch to put around all my vegetables in my garden and this way since it already started to break down by putting it on top and watering it all that is feeding my plants it's like natural food so as I water it see it's slowly feeding my plants and it will continue to break down there a little slower because it's on the top but this particular pile is just the perfect mulch for me see how wet it is See, this is really wet in there. There's no bugs yet. There, there will be on the very bottom. But there's so many ways you can use this. You don't have to completely wait till it's completely broke down. Like I said, just plant your garden up, whether it's in containers or in the ground, and use this, if it's fine, to cover it around the plants. It's like giving the plants a good blanket and will hold moisture in. I had some pots that I wasn't putting mulch around. It was just coming through. It had already broken down so much. And containers and even on the ground. And it, and it was drying out real quick as it got hot. So I did this and boy, I went back to water it the next day and the day after that. And this had held the water in. So what I, that's what I do. I take from the center. See this pile that was delivered. This is another truckload. See that's got a lot of big chunks. And this is the stuff that my husband will use on hillsides or whatever. He also has that, I guess you would call it like a sifter he made that he cranks. And he can sift out and then make piles of that. And that will break down real fast. Once you get rid of that, it will break down real fast. The real big pieces, he'll throw that in like a cage, a wire, and let it dry out. And we'll use that to start our fireplace. That uses, that's really good for firewood. If not, you put it underneath somewhere, wherever you're piling it, and it will break down as well. But this particular part, I claim this. I told him, don't 
don't do anything with this because I want this because this is just so cool because it's already it's so fine I don't have to do anything with it just use it now we're working on the top and this is the stuff that I like that's down here it's just the same stuff I saved in a tub to use for my plant bed so we'll see what it's gonna look like once they finish the top mask or at minimum when you're working with wood chips because of the dust and because of the um, mold or fungal spores too. My husband normally doesn't look like a raccoon. <laughs> and they're only you're, you guys are only halfway through now? Halfway through. Wow. Okay, we'll keep on trucking. Okay. And this is now going to the front yard. They've spread out a bunch here with their bobcat. And he's now taking the load and he's putting it in the front yard where we'll be able to use it and move it more. And look at that. I don't know how long this would have taken my husband to move, but I'll tell you, I am really, really happy I called kind of made a deal. I have no idea how many loads they're going to bring after this. But this is where they're moving it. They're moving it from the back now to the front part. And eventually, I don't know how much will be gone. I think he's mainly moving the ones up against the wall. And once it's moved against the wall, they'll be able to drive down and they'll be able to put another three loads there. All right, we'll come back later and see what happens when they're all done. This grows really good there. Let's walk over real quick. See, this is where I said it was black top. Now we're going to have many layers of wood chips here. Oh, there's my table. Hopefully they didn't bury the chairs. They probably did. They'll think it came with the wood chips. But see, I've got the big, great big zucchini under there too. Anyways, this is where some of it, I think he's gonna move some of it to a different part of the yard where it's not drivable, but now he's got it closer and out of the way because we don't park here. What is the reason you're putting it here? Is this where you're gonna move some of it to the other part of the yard? Okay, the orchard down below on the other side of the acreage. Yeah, I want to get some under the orange trees. Okay. Up until now, I've had to load it into trash cans, park here, and then carry the trash cans down and around. Now I just have to put, fill the trash cans here and move it. Okay. And I'll be able to do it little by little. It'll be a lot easier. So he's moving it here. Can't dump the truck loads here. Okay, so apparently when the trucks come, there's no way for them to turn that big truck around and dump it here. So now it's going to be a lot closer to where he wants to put it. And plus it's out of the way. Of course, I'm going to have to hike around the water in my garden, but that's okay. But this way, it's where he wants it. And then he can slowly move it to other places that he wants. And he's probably going to spread a bunch over... from them. That's when they brought a big load of wood and then cut a lot 
uh, for firewood and we also made some furniture out of it for the garden. Okay, let's go back to the back and see what's going on. So that's it. Here's my husband touching up stuff. He had them push it where he wanted. He had lots of loads moved. He's moving the loads now and the bobcat's being packed up and it's leaving. So, hint, anyone getting wood chips from some tree company and they're so desperate to, to, you know, get it on your property, if you've got a way to have them move it for you, ask. Can't hurt, that's what I did. I asked. Oh, my husband's got something to say. Let me see if I can get over there. I can't even see. This is their pitchfork. This is mine. Maybe you can hide it. <laughs> Mine looks like a toy. Oh my god. Oh, so this is their professional one that and they use. Made in Austria. Oh, oh wow. I don't think I can zoom in that close. So it's made in Austria. That's a good one. And it's well, well forged. Yeah, that is a nice, nice piece of hand tool. Maybe you can ask them where they get their stuff or buy one from them. Uh, yeah, you could ask if you can buy Well, ask them where they got, got it. Yeah, maybe I will get that. I mean, they may have a special place out here, farming equipment they buy it from. Because, yeah, you can see the difference between that one from what? One of the little home centers. Yeah, I got this at a swap meet. Oh, that's from the swap meet. Yeah. It's an older one, but it's got a bad spline to it. They, the ones with a collar are better, but you know, this has done, done a lot of work for me, but it's still a toy compared to what they've got. I remember when you bought that, you said that was a really good one. They yeah, had... It is good, but this is better. Yes, we'll ask them. Okay, so we're about ready to wrap up this long video. And they moved a lot. They can now take their truck down that road and they can drive all the way down on the property and they're going to bring another three loads soon, I think they said. They can dump it there. And then my husband's still moving a lot of this where he wants a lot of it just being pushed down the hill here to cover like our rosemary and different plants that are growing there. So he'll get it all organized the way he wants. And then once he does that, after they bring three or four loads for down below, they can start to bring here I don't know, another six, seven loads up on the top. Maybe I'll get to my beds that I put over there. Because we're getting close to putting in our winter growing vegetable garden soon. Because the summer, you know, we're at the very, very end of summer now. And a lot of it's been harvested. I mean, it, our, my garden grows all year round. So does his. Different things grow better during the winter. Different things grow better during the spring and summer. Even the peppers grow better in the summer. In the spring, they didn't do anything. Now I got bell peppers, baby bells everywhere. Well, he got a lot moved. And it's it looks like there's a lot here, which there still is, but he's leveling this out. And he's got his things. I don't know half the time what he's doing anyways. So that's it. And it's goodbye to the bobcat. But they said they're bringing it back again. So now they know they can come dump and then they can put it where he wants it. So that's what came out of the truck today. My husband's best friend, helper, comes running in the house to tell me, Bobcat, Bobcat. I thought he was talking about the Bobcat that hangs out in our yard. And I said, you want me to get my camera? He goes, no, you don't understand. The Bobcat's here. <laughs> so two meetings for a Bobcat. And there it goes. Long day's work. Actually, a few hours. Well, here's what they've been moving. So it's been a great day. Hope you enjoyed this video. We've got other videos on wood chips. You can go ahead and check into it, how we're using it. We're always adding more, at least we're trying to help out and get people uh, to use wood chips and how to use, get different ideas and hey, Maybe somebody will come up with a better idea and tell me how, how to do it even better. Have a great day and don't forget to eat what you grow. So just for the ending to let you know, the bobcat just left 
And as fast as the bobcat left, guess what they brought? Yep, that's another load after the bobcat just left. So, I guess when I told him I'll take all you've got once you move it around, within five minutes he sent up his other truck. Must have been waiting out there. No wonder they pulled out. I thought they were going to move a little bit more, and he must have called him and said we got loads. And so they pulled the bobcat out and took off, and they brought this. I have no idea how many more are coming, but they said they're coming back Saturday. They're going to continue to move it. Now, everybody, don't forget to eat what you grow.